What's going on guys? We are back for another Dragon Ball Legends video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing something different, not really playing the game or like, you know, showcasing any units or anything like that. I am giving my opinions on the part two of the um of the anniversary. Uh they just released the reveals and stuff. I was reacting to it with my friend earlier. I don't even know what they were thinking with these releases. I have to skip part two, and one of my favorite units is in there. God Goku. LF God Goku, which is very, like... Like, why do they have to do that to me? They made me summon on two rerun banners, and I'm saving up for part three, because I know I can't make a summon video for part two, so, you know. I guess I'll just summon on the part two banners when I'm done with summoning for part three. But, that aside, basically how I'm going to do this video, uh, I'm just going to skip to the parts where I have, like, you know, opinions on, and if there are animations for characters, I want to play those animations. And, like, you know, I can't... Because I can't, um... What is it? play the video as i'm talking since you guys can't really you know hear me like comp give my opinions on this so we'll just skip over to where they showcase the evil boo right here this out Alright, so you saw, you know, you saw the units that they've released, um, you know, kind of, they just didn't learn from their mistakes, honestly. Like, you know, we've got Evil Boo, we've got Gohan, I'm gonna skip over these animations. I mean, Evil Boo, you know, is fine, I don't know why they released Gohan. So, his Z ability is giving 30% uh, of regen, Majin Buu Saga, and powerful opponent, and then an extra 15 to Majin Buu Saga, so you know, it's pretty good. This Evil Boo is actually quite decent, in my opinion. Uh, every time he's faced with an, uh, every time he, every time he faces an enemy, restores key, he's, uh, doing quite a bit for himself. Every time he's hit with an enemy strike, blast, or special move, reduces key, uh, inflicts, um, attribute downgrade, plus five to all arts costs, you know, he's a good disrupt unit. Uh, let's skip on to the next parts. Unique abilities, um, when he, when the enemy activates an awakened, uh, ultimate or rising rush, he reduces sub count inflicts enemies um with that and then you know cancels attribute upgrades and buff effects i say that because i don't feel like reading all that but we're not here for evil boo i'm trying to hurry up and skip through this uh, when he enters the battlefield he randomly destroys one card so at most uh twice he can destroy two cards and then after he does it two times he just destroy destroys one card he's got blast cover change his combo with a uh, blue card 
Uh, when he's under 50% HP, he restores his HP, he goes type neutral for 20 timer counts, reduces key, and reduces enemy Dragon Ball. So this guy is a really good uh, disrupt unit as a defense type. Uh, he's got an ultimate, uh, you know, deal massive damage. It's an AoE ultimate that destroys your enemy's hand, reduces their Dragon Balls, and seals their Rising Rush for 15 timer counts. This guy is an amazing disrupt unit. I mean, hey, they, they were doing really good with this uh, evil boo. But we need to hurry up and get to go. Um, he inflicts uh, two substitution counts. Like, you know, when Super Vegeta switches in, he's got um, the two sub count. Uh, you know, he increases your sub count by two. Uh, he has that if there are two Majin Buu Saga allies on the team. And then if there are two Majin Buu Saga allies on the team, he gives them 20% damage inflicted and 15% crit rate. So he's also a disrupt and a baby support as well. Uh, and you know his main ability doing all this stuff he also nullifies endurance, which is really good for a sideband unit. But that's not what we're doing here. What we're doing here is we're talking about this rat because I've obviously they didn't learn from their mistakes. So LF Ultimate Gohan is purple, uh, he's ranged, uh, he's buff Sun Family, Hybrid, and Majin Buu Saga, and then an extra 15 to Majin Buu Saga. Um, what else? If you skip on to the next page. They just have to do stuff with Gohan. Like, he has two gauges. So the time gauge, which, you know, uh, charges over time, like hits gauge and Kid Buu's gauge, uh, you know, he's got that. And then after that gauge is full, he switches to an attack gauge. So basically every single time, like you use a card or whatever, he's, uh, what is it? Every time you sell, every single time you use a card, that gauge fills up. So he goes from the time gauge, and once that one's full, he goes to an attack gauge. So like, they just have to give Gohan like the most busted things, like with Ultra Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. They have to give him the stupid counter, the counter gr blue card, the AOE green card. This guy is just so annoying. Uh, it'll gradually fill, just talking about the time you need gauge. Uh, once it's full, he nullifies, um, well, he goes type neutral for 30 timer counts, restores allies HP by 20%, plus 25% of damage inflicted for 30 timer counts for the allies, and shortens sub count by 5. And then once this character is full when they enter the battlefield, it resets to 0, and it switches to an attack type, he gets 60% damage inflicted, that's permanent. He randomly destroys two enemy cards, reduces key by 60, and seals the enemy's rising rush. Like, hello, what are we doing here? We're only on page three, and we're already doing all this stuff for Gohan. Let me read the subtitles real quick. All right, uh, continuing on, though. Three of seven, four of seven. Once it's an attack type, uh, he, what is it? Once the unique gauge is full, every time he uses a strike, blast, or a special move, he draws, um, oh, that's a blue card, okay. Because I think I said green card when I was talking to my friend, but uh, yeah. He draws a blue card, restores key, and applies attribute upgrade minus 20. That's uh, the same damage cut. I don't really care about that. Like, once it's full, he gets a blue card. He restores the key by 100. Like, there's only page four. What are we doing here, Legends? You're obviously, I think you obviously have a type. <coughs> All right. Uh, he has a uh, strike cover change that cannot be comboable, which, thank goodness, it can't be comboable. Um, he has cover change against forward charging special moves and special and green cards as well. So just like Ultra Broly, this guy can cover change blue cards, the melee blue cards. He has endurance, and when an enemy activates a uh, blue card, ultimate, awaken, or rising rush, he shortens sub uh, count by three and then cancels enemy buff effects. Why are we giving him this like? these like busted abilities we just got a gohan like a few months ago that's already terrorizing the game we don't need another one all right we're almost done with gohan here um randomly his green card randomly draws one new card restores own hp and key and then he nullifies cover change if his unique gauge is an attack type he uh what is it he gets damage inflicted for 10 timer counts and he restores his vanish gauge to a hundred percent like it wasn't annoying enough with all the other stuff, he gets his unique gauge, he gets his vantage gauge back to 100%, which is so stupid. Every time he uses a blue card, he draws a green card, and if the unique gauge is an attack type, he nullifies endurance. <coughs> so I guess on his blue card, he doesn't regularly nullify endurance, because it says if unique gauge is an attack type, 
Which, I, I guess, I, that's what I'm assuming here. That's what I'm assuming. But yeah, um, main ability, he draws his ult and reduces the enemy gauge to 0%. Like, what are we doing here? At least he doesn't lock in, but like, if you're in the middle of a combo, and you know, he does this, he just and he just drops it, one of your characters is dead, because a raw ult can kill someone. Uh, his ultimate arts, obviously, you know, they have to restore his vantage gauge by 100% once you use it. And, you know, uh, nullifies endurance. Oh, wait, I was talking about the blue card earlier, because I thought for a second I was like, uh, he's like a revival character, but no. So he has he nullifies endurance on his blue card when his gauge is filled. What the heck? What is this game? Seriously. And it, it's unique gauge's attack type while using the ultimate arts. Uh... What is it? He goes type neutral and cancels enemy attribute upgrades and buff effects. What are we doing? Seriously, what are we doing with this guy? Like, you know, part two is going to be amazing, but like, because of the other unit that they released, but like, what are we doing here? I, I don't know. All right, so we're going to go over the small stuff. You got a challenge battle, obviously. You know, they got to do that. The two Zenkais. I am very excited for this Zenkai, actually, because they Zenkai LF Kid Boo. I have him a one plus. I've always wanted to use him. I'm actually grinding up his equips right now. So, you know, once I get him to Zenkai 6, then I'll make a showcase video for him. All right. Uh, we don't care. Blue. Oh. Oh, he does blue powerful opponent. Okay. All right. Then. Uh, continuing on with that, just, uh, you know, if you could, like, actually load. Yeah, it's the Marvelous Monday thing that, you know, uh, chance time. Uh, I was lucky enough to actually get two of them. I got 90 and 92. So, you know, I got two prizes. Uh, there is going to be a second one. So if you missed out on the first one, uh, you know, you didn't get the reward. You didn't get the uh, right, you know, numbers. That's fine because there is going to be a second one. Uh, what else is there? Is this where they reveal? Yeah, this is where they reveal um, beer. Sorry, I'm going to stop talking right here. That's not all we have for you today, though. No, it's not. There's one more big announcement to make. Have a look at this. Now we get to my favorite part of this anniversary, Super Saiyan God Goku. I have been waiting for an LF Super Saiyan God Goku for the longest time. And they finally did it. They finally delivered. So now we're going to go check out, you know, see what they can do. They already played the animation, so I'm not going to play that. This is the Beerus. Finally, after I think the last Beerus that we got was on New Year's. It was that blue free to play Beerus. So, you know. That was the last Beerus we got. But if we're talking about summonable, it was the uh, Revive Nullify Beerus. That was the last Beerus that we ever got if we're talking about summonable. So, you know, we've got here Beerus. Uh, he's blue and ranged. He does, uh, he buffs God Key, Songs of the Movies, a powerful opponent, and then an extra 50% to God Key. Uh, we can move on. I was reading this with my friend. He's pretty good. They have been doing really well with the side menu units this anniversary. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, when the battle starts, he gets damage inflicted. He reduces damage. He gets card draw speed and minus five to arts cost, which is really good. When he enters the battlefield, I think this is uh, every time he enters the battlefield, 
He restores his HP by 50% and key by 20, and he gets 80% damage inflicted, which cannot be cancelled and activates once, and then an extra 40% damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. So, you know, so far sounding pretty decent. Uh, moving on. His green card. Uh, I think we saw in the... Uh, actually, you know, I'm going to play it. A wide range special arts and on hit so like get right an there you saw his green card his green card is a full aoe i'm pretty sure it's like it, it's an like the aoe is an actual aoe like it's everywhere not mid-range not close not, not just mid-range the aoe reaches all the way to the end like you have that aoe and then you can just keep comboing uh, once he activates his uh, AoE, he draws a blast card, restores key, and also he nullifies cover change, increased card draw speed, and gets more damage inflicted. So after you do that AoE, you can you know combo after that and not have to worry about uh, them switching into another character for like uh, five timer counts. Uh, over here, every time you switch into uh, every time he enters the battlefield, he gets plus fifteen percent of special move and ultimate damage. So you can get up to 45% because it can activate three times. His blue card, he gets uh, plus 40% of special move. His ultimate arts does more ultimate damage and then nullifies endurance, which is really good. And then he's an AoE ultimate as well. They've been cooking with these side banding units. I mean, he's getting a ton of like blue card damage. Seems very versatile so far. Uh, what else is there? Uh, there's a fifth page. Um, when he's hit with an enemy arts attack, he restores his own HP by 3%. Reduces enemies key by 70 destroys three cards and inflicts enemies with no switching on top of him being like You know a versatile unit when he's getting damaged. He's also a disrupt unit. So like It it just it baffles me uh, He has a strike cover change that can be covered that can be comboed with a blue and when he changes cover He destroys one of your cards and draws a blue card to uh, and that you can do that twice and then he gets 20% of special move damage so this guy is just doing a ton of blue card damage and he can like somewhat combo. So it, it, this guy is already, you know, he's not even in game yet and he's already looking pretty good. <coughs> now we move on to, you know, the hype of the part two, the Super Saiyan God Goku, the LF God Goku. He's green melee type, he buffs God Key, songs in the movies and Sun Family and an extra 50% to God Key. Uh, if we move on over here, um, all right, we're back. My recording cut out, and we're just gonna move on. So when he uses a strike or blast, he, uh, what is it? He gets cover null for five timer counts and activates once. When he uses a green card, he gets cover null for five timer counts. It's, and also I'm pretty sure his green card is an AOE. Let me just uh, play this for a second. Goku will nullify enemy special cover changes. I'm upon pretty sure that's an AoE, because it says comboable strike arts, blast arts, special move, and ultimate arts. So, you know, this guy is. The, God Goku is just insane. It just. Wow. Like, so far, we're already only on page two, and already he's looking pretty decent. His blue card, uh, it is Kamehameha, so, you know, is that. He gets plus 30% of special move, and he nullifies. Uh, he goes type neutral, so that's pretty good for him. Uh, what else is there? Uh, he gets Endurance. Oh, yeah, did, did I mention? I think I mentioned that Gohan also has Endurance. He gets Endurance. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, he goes type neutral and he nullifies abnormal conditions for 10 timer counts. Nullifies enemies. I'm pretty sure this guy can nullify AoE green cards. Uh, this guy, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy nullifies AoE green cards. Just like the uh, LF uh, Gogeta, the uh, yellow one. With, like the elf Goku and Vegito, and you fuse into Gogeta, the Gogeta portion can nullify. Beast Gohan, and then the yellow Jiren can also nullify it as well. So there's that. Uh, what else is there? Page four, he has a unique gauge, and once it's full, he cancels uh, attribute downgrades and nullifies own attribute downgrades in abnormal conditions for 10 timer counts. So you're not going to be getting disrupted for a bit. Um, he resets his uh, gauge to zero, and uh, once he launches a strike or a blast, he gets 70% damage inflicted and nullifies and goes type neutral for five timer counts. Uh, the following effects when he enters the battlefield, plus 150% to own unique gauge charge rate for five timer counts, and then another 150% for five timer counts three times. 
So you're charging his unique gauge like a ton, like a ton, a ton. Uh, unique abilities. Every time he uses a card, he every time uh uses a striker blast, he gets 10% of his vanish back. Every time he lands one once, he gets uh 10% back. Every time he uses a green card, he gets 60% back. So this guy is you can literally get this guy back to 100% vanish. Because he and on his green card is nullifying um cover null. And like, you know, you can keep comboing. And if he does cover change, uh what is it? You have your vanish, so you can stay into God Goku. Like this guy is insane, honestly. But unfortunately, they have a Gohan purple and him greens, like you know. Why couldn't they make it the other way around? But still, still. Either way, this God Goku is insane. Really good in my opinion. Uh there are the banners. Uh they don't really have the, you know what other LFs are going to be on them out yet. So, you know, there's that. They usually uh, release that uh, later in the day, like around like what, 12 in the morning, I guess. But yeah, uh, there's going to be a new equip and co-op for characters that are songs from the movies and God key. There's the mega equipment Bonanza and this for, you know, in case if you need to upgrade equips, uh, there's a new platinum equip. Basically, um, all each slot will be very powerful, so like, I think every single slot is going to be red, and you can only use... <coughs> Sorry. You can only use this equip when the char when that specific character is at 7 stars, and, uh, what else? Uh, what? Oh, no. Once the character is at 7 stars, additional effects will be unleashed, unleashed, and this equipment will only be given for specific characters. And guess what the character is? It's the... If this could ever, you know, move on... The free-to-play Ultra Omega Shenron. They finally said that they were going to release this equip, and they did. So, you know, it has a new border. It's actually like a, an actual platinum border. So he is getting his own equip. I have no idea if it's going to save this unit or not. Probably not, because, like, you know, you, you're, probably, you know you're not running this free-to-play in, in this meta. But, you know, that's still, you know, fun to see. Uh, Legends Battle Royale, it's God Key and Hybrid Saiyan. Um, over here, I will play this, actually. You have wasted my time. So as you saw there, uh Giblet. Free to play Giblet. That's literally it. You buy him from Z2 Metals, and for some reason they made it so that he can change into a dark type. So he starts off as red, and then once you get off like a certain condition, he goes into a dark type. Which I don't know why they did that, but like you know. I guess they just ran out of ideas. I have no idea. Clearly, they're not running out of ideas because of the stuff that they're releasing. Uh, there's also... This could ever load. You, if you remember, there was a thing that Legends did during the Legends Fest where you could see your in-game achievements, like how much CC you use and stuff like that. They're doing that again for the 6th anniversary. So you can go into the Bandai Namco website or whatever, I think, and then you can see your basically like Legends recap. Uh, and then if you keep posting it, we'll get rewards. And that's basically it for this reveals and stuff. Uh, there's nothing else. My opinions on this reveals and stuff and for part two, really good. I hate that they made Gohan, like, you know, that the LF was Gohan because now we're going to have another Gohan unit terrorizing PvP. Every single Gohan that has ever released has been good, has terrorized PvP, has dominated the meta for just so long. Like, I don't know what they're thinking, but they're going in the wrong direction with Gohan. I love that they did Super Saiyan God Goku. It's unfortunate that I can't summon on him because I want to. I wanted to make a summon video for part two, but my dumb self was like, you know, I'm gonna do summons on the rerun banners, and then like, you know, maybe part two won't be as hype. But I was wrong, and uh, yeah, basically my synopsis of part two: God Goku. I love God Goku. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me just you know going like over the going over the units and like you know my opinions on this and you know i hope to see you guys in the next video bye